Hey Rinkers, one of the first questions when we talk about building a rink is, how level is your yard? Some customers say it's perfectly flat. Others will say, oh, I think it's about a 1% grade. But what I'm after and what we're really after is how much water is there in your rink? So we know how tall the bores have to be and so that we support it properly. Today, I'm gonna go over two very simple ways to figure this out. Building a rink is a piece of cake. And if you get this, you're full on your way to getting this done. So way number one, which is the more simplistic way, uh, theoretically, is using a line level. I will go over this in a minute, but brief summary is we're going to string around this 20 by 46 standard rink, and then we're going to get every section of the line perfectly level. Now the way that I prefer is using a laser transit. I know that sounds like a complex word, but it's nothing but a, a laser sheet that's going to be perfectly level to the Earth's gravity. It'll be like a sheet of water up in the air. And you're going to use that to determine how much water you have in each corner. Hey guys, now my favorite way to measure level and water level and pitch is with a laser transit. I waited till twilight to show you this because I think it's a lot more clear when you can see the laser on your measuring stick. Most, transit, most transits come with a, uh, a reading device, but if you do it in twilight, you don't need the reading device. And you can see the laser exactly on the stick. You'd be surprised how many people have laser transits. Don't be afraid to ask your, your landscaper, uh, a local friend, this really makes the job a lot easier. Just like with the string level, especially if this is your first time doing it, it's very important you have a setup. We labeled this first spike one, two, three, four, five, six. You'll see later when we're done how these numbers will come in handy because you have a small calculation to do. Lots of ways to use a laser transit, but I'm going to show you just a real simple way, and that's why I did it at twilight. If you look here, you see the, the laser flashing on the measuring bar. I'm going to go to each position, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and I'm going to put a piece of tape at the position where the laser is flashing. And then when we're done, we're going to take those measurements, quick calc, and you know exactly what your grade is. With the measuring bar, up against the rebar, you can see the flashing laser. We're gonna align bottoms. So I'll put a piece of tape right on the bottom. Watch. Here you have it. All the stakes are marked, one through six, and then it has the laser position. We're gonna measure those and I'll show you on a sheet of paper how this works. We're at stake one, measured from the ground up 22 inches. We're at stake two, measured from the ground to the tape line that represents the laser, 22 inches. Ground up, 27 inches. Stake number four, from ground to laser line, 35 and a half. Ground to tape line which represents the laser about 36 tape line represents laser 28 and a half inches the rink is now documented so here are our laser transit numbers laid out on paper you have stake one stake two stake three stake four stake five and stake six and then our laser measurements 22, 22, 27, 35 and a half, 36, and 28. So now we are going to normalize this and figure out the water levels. So we're going to take our highest spot, which is 22 inches. It's the smallest number. We're going to subtract 22 from every number to get ground. So this one's going to be 0 inches at ground. This one's going to be 0 inches at ground. This one's going to be 5 inches at ground. This one's going to be 13 and a half inches. 
14 inches of ground. And six inches at ground. The next step is gonna to be to bring it up four inches like we're filling up the water. So zero inches of ground becomes four inches of water. Same thing here, four inches of water. And these are gonna be your lowest spots of water. You're gonna have nine inches of water here. 17 and a half inches of water at this corner at stake four. 18 inches of water at stake five. And finally, 10 inches of water at stake six. So as you go around four inches on this end, 17 and a half to 18 inches of water on this end and 10 inches and nine inches in the middle. A very buildable rink. If you have any questions on your laser transit readings, please call us. Uh, we'd love to help you out with it. And if you've done it with a transit and you've done it with a string level, the transit's correct. Thank you.